Oil accumulation in the throttle body occurs when engine oil vapors or liquid oil enter the intake airstream, depositing on the throttle plate, bore, and surrounding surfaces. Observable symptoms include rough or unstable idle with RPM fluctuations, acceleration, stumbling or hesitation, illuminated check engine light, often with codes P0505, P0171 or P0174, visible oil residue in the intake tube, whistling noises from the intake, increased blue-grey exhaust smoke and reduced fuel economy. The performance impact involves disrupted air-fuel ratios due to oil displacing air-fuel mass, throttle plate sticking from carbon oil sludge buildup, potential contamination of upstream MAF sensors, and increased hydrocarbon emissions. Root causes stem from oil entering via the intake path. The most common is PCV system malfunction, where a clogged PCV valve, stuck closed, causes excessive crankcase pressure that forces oil vapors past seals. Failed or clogged PCV hoses, cracked, collapsed or sludge blocked, or overwhelmed oil separators in modern engines also contribute. Excessive blow-by gases from worn piston rings or cylinder walls increase crankcase pressure beyond the PCV system's capacity, particularly in high-mileage or turbocharged engines. Turbocharger seal failures allow bearing oil to leak directly into the compressor outlet, feeding the throttle body or turbine inlet, often aggravated by sudden shutdowns causing oil coking. Overfilled engine oil above the max mark generates excess oil mist via crankshaft splash. Engine wear like worn valve guides, seals, or rare cracks in cylinder heads, blocks, can also introduce oil. Engine type significantly influences risk and severity. Naturally, aspirated engines primarily suffer from PCV failure, blow-by or overfilled oil, typically with moderate accumulation. Turbocharged, supercharged engines face higher severity due to turbo seal failures and PCV systems overwhelmed under boost pressure, often causing oil pooling in intercoolers. Diesel engines experience heavy sludge formation from oil soot mixtures due to inherent high blow-by in compression ignition systems, compounded by EGR complications. Ignoring oil buildup leads to critical consequences. Throttle plate sticking causes erratic idle and unsafe throttle response. MAF sensor contamination skews air measurement, causing incorrect fuel trim. Oil bakes into carbon deposits on intake valves, especially problematic in GDI engines, reducing airflow and power. Combustion of oil produces ash that clogs catalytic converters. Finally, misfires can occur from fouled spark plugs or pre-ignition events. Diagnosis begins with visual inspection of intake tubing, throttle body, PCV hoses and engine oil level. Test PCV function by removing the valve to check for rattle, silence indicates clogging, or verifying strong vacuum at idle, weak suction suggests blockages. For turbo engines, inspect the compressor housing and intercooler for oil, checking shaft play exceeding 1 mm. Suspected blow-by requires compression or leak-down testing, with leakage over 20% indicating ring cylinder wear. Cleaning the throttle body requires battery disconnection to prevent electronic errors. After intake tube removal, apply throttle body-specific cleaner to a lint-free cloth and gently wipe the plate and bore. Never force the plate open or flood components with cleaner to avoid sensor damage. Repairs involve PCV system replacement, valve, hoses, oil separator, OEM parts recommended for proper flow rates, turbocharger replacement for failed seals, intercooler cleaning, replacement if oil saturated, and addressing engine wear via rebuilds or seal replacements. Correct oil overfill by draining to the dipstick's full mark. Preventative maintenance includes regular oil changes with manufacturer-specified viscosity, thinner oils vaporize easier, PCV valve replacement every 50k miles, use of low ash oils to reduce valve deposits, and allowing turbo engines to idle 30, 60 seconds before shutdown to prevent oil coking. Expert insights note that trace oil vapor is normal, but liquid oil or heavy coatings indicate failure. On turbo engines, check the intercooler lower hose for pooled oil to confirm seal failure. While oil catch cans help manage vapor, especially in turbo DI engines, root causes must be addressed first. Short trip driving prevents PCV systems from reaching optimal operating temperatures, accelerating moisture oil sludge buildup. For diagnostics, start with oil level checks. 
If high, drain to specification. If normal, inspect the PCV system. Replace components if clogged or leaking. If functional, determine turbo status. Turbocharged engines require turbo seal and intercooler checks. Replace turbo if oil is present. While naturally aspirated engines need compression tests, proceed with mechanical repairs if leakage exceeds 20%. Always perform an ECU throttle relearn post-service per manufacturer procedures to prevent operational issues. Prompt resolution avoids catalytic converter damage and sensor failures. This guidance aligns with SAEJ 1134 PCV standards and OEM service bulletins.